Hey everybody, hello and welcome to our channel Info Island. So guys, today in this video, we are going to explore the world of computers and the various acronyms associated with that. तो गाइज जैसा कि आप लोग जानते ही हैं कि आजकल का जो टाइम है दैट इज ऑल अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज ऑल अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एज यू गाइज मस्ट बी अवेयर दैट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस रोबोटिक्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स हैज टेकन अप लॉट मोर देन व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्टेड इयर्स अगो दो इट इज हेल्पफुल फॉर अर्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज टेक्नोलॉजी अगर आती है तो वो कहीं ना कहीं मदद करती है बट एज दे से दैट टेक्नोलॉजी इज अ बून और अ बेन ऑल्सो तो यस क्योंकि टेक्नोलॉजी आ गई है तो उससे काफ़ी ज़्यादा जॉब्स भी जा रहे हैं काफ़ी ज़्यादा लोग हैं ऐसे जिनकी जॉब जा चुकी है बट यस टेक्नोलॉजी की मदद से अगर हम देखें तो आज हमने काफ़ी सारी चीज़ें ऐसी भी अचीव कर ली हैं जो कि अगर हम सालों पहले की बात करें तो वो हमारे सामने नहीं थी तो गाइज टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ साथ चलने के लिए आपको कंप्यूटर की भी नॉलेज होना ज़रूरी है तो उसी के लिए आज हमने ये वीडियो प्रिपेयर करा है इन ऑर्डर टू लेट यू गाइस नो दैट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज अ कंप्यूटर व्हाट एग्जैक्टली हाउ डज इट वर्क एंड ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू इट अगर uh, आप किसी भी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स की प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हैं देन यू आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू सी सम ऑफ दीज एब्रीविएशन दैट वी विल शेयर इन द वीडियो फर्दर एंड येस दीज एब्रीविएशन दीज फुल फॉर्म्स आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू हेल्प यू गाइज इन योर प्रिपरेशन एंड यू डेफिनेटली विल सी देम इन योर एग्जामिनेशन सो गाइज येस वीडियो को शुरू करने से पहले हम जान लेते हैं थोड़ा बहुत मोटा मोटा इन अचल अबाउट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज अ कंप्यूटर सो अ कंप्यूटर इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस दैट हैज रिवॉल्यूशन अराइज द वे वी वर्क द वे वी कम्युनिकेट एंड एक्सेस इंफॉर्मेशन so whether you're a student a professional or just a curious learner understanding the world of computers is very much essential in today's digital era in this video today we will discuss some of the most commonly used abbreviations that are related to computers and what they actually mean aage aane wale guys sabhi exams ke liye ye video kafi zyada useful hone wala hai स्पेशली जैसे कि आप जानते ही हैं कि एस एस सी सी जी एल का एग्जाम इज अराइविंग तो जो लोग उसकी प्रेपरेशन कर रहे हैं उनको भी ये काफी वीडियो बहुत ही ज्यादा मदद करेगा तो वीडियो को एंड तक देखिएगा एंड स्टिक विद अस फॉर मोर फर्दर वीडियो ऑन एस एस सी सी जी एल टॉपिक्स सो यस नाउ विदाउट एनी फर्दर अ डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो यस गाइज फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट इन ऑर्डर टू नो अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी इट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू नो अबाउट वॉट इज अ कंप्यूटर बिकॉज if you have to have the knowledge of uh, you know computer how does it work and everything you must know what is a computer first so a computer is an electronic machine that accepts data from the user processes the data by performing calculations and operations on it and generates the desired outcome or result the computer is derived from the latin word computere which means to compute and the full form of the computer is common operating machine purposely used for technological and educational research so guys if you are like wondering that why we are going so deep down and uh, getting to know all such things because we do believe i do believe that yes if you have to have the knowledge of something you should know the background also because somewhere there if you know the background you can further learn the things so guys alu as well as cu they jointly make a computer so what is alu and what is ceu so alu stands for arithmetic logical unit which is used to carry out the arithmetic and logical operation so arithmetic if you include what are those uh, addition subtraction division and multiplication so all of those operations are been taken up by alu Uh, next is cu cu stands for control unit so control unit is used to change the order of operations in response to stored information so guys uh, now let's talk about the advancements that have come up in computing technology by now because if you you know if you go back and see jab computer launch hi hua tha tab kya tha aur agar apan aaj ke time mein dekhe to computer has taken up the face of laptops tabs and many more things 
so yes uh, since the inception of computers computing technology has advanced tremendously the first computers they were massive and expensive and they had limited capabilities however with time computers have become more compact affordable portable and efficient today we have computers in the form of you know in different different forms including laptops desktops tablets and smartphones the computing power of modern day computers has increased significantly making it possible to perform complex tasks such as artificial intelligence and machine learning very much feasible and possible so guys uh, if you talk about the types of computer the way a computer performs a particular activities they can be used to classify it and certainly at the end of the time they become the type of that particular computer so uh, there are basically three categories that are involved pehla hai digital computer dusra hai analog computer aur teesra hai hybrid computer so these are the basically three categories in which a computer disk is being categorized so guys jaise ki maine aapko bataya ki computer jab aaye the tab se lekar humne computer mein kafi advancement dekhe hain kafi difference dekhe hain usi mein generations bhi involved hain to chaliye ab hum generations of computer ke bare mein jante hain to sabse pehle aata hai first generation computer these computers they were large and expensive and required specialized technicians to operate and maintain them they were primarily used for military and scientific applications such as calculating artillery firing tablet and performing atomic energy calculation the first generation of computers they were categorized by their use of vacuum tubes and their reliance on punched cards for input and output they were also relatively uh, slow they were uh, also relatively slow with processing speeds measured in milliseconds despite their limitations the first generations of computers laid the foundation for the development of modern computers and revolutionized the way we process and store information so guys abhi humne dekha first generation ke bare mein now let's quickly watch out for second generation of computer the main characteristics of second generation computers were what like use of transistors were there and magnetic storage was there so firstly use of transistors the use of transistors in second generation computers made them faster more reliable and more energy efficient than first generation computers which used vacuum tubes kyunki first generation mein vacuum tubes aata tha uske karan bhi wo kafi slow process karte the दूसरा हम बात करते हैं मैग्नेटिक स्टोरेज का तो सेकेंड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स दे यूज मैग्नेटिक स्टोरेज डिवाइस सच एज मैग्नेटिक डिस्क एंड टेप्स टू स्टोर डेटा दीज डिवाइस कुड स्टोर लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा एंड वर मोर रिलायबल देन द पंच कार्ड स्टोर स्टोरेज विच वॉज यूज इन द फर्स्ट जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर तो गाइज देख रहे हैं आप कि जैसे जैसे हम जनरेशन टू जनरेशन मूव कर रहे हैं वी आर लुकिंग for the you know advancements in there jaise hi ki generation move ho raha hai waise waise cheeze kafi zyada flexible banti ja rahi hain feasible banti ja rahi hain aur kafi uh, you know reliable resources bhi aa rahi hain with time next hamare paas aata hai ferret core memory jisko hum use karte the second generation mein ferret core memory was used as the main memory in second generation computers it was faster and more reliable than the magnetic drums which was used in first generation of computers fir hum baat karte hain formal languages ki second generation computers used formal languages such as cobol and fortran for programming which made it easier for programmers to write code to jo cobol aur fortran languages hoti thi they were the formal languages used by uh, the people who you used to use computers in second generation aur ye kis cheez ke liye kaam aati thi they were uh, you know used basically to write codes jo programmers hote the unke kaam ki cheez hoti agla hum baat karte hain time sharing ki 
Second generation computers introduced the concept of time sharing, which allowed multiple users to access the computer at the same time. So guys, this made it possible for computer users to work on the same computer simultaneously and hence increasing productivity. Overall, you can say that second generation computers, they were a bit significant improvement over first generation computers and they laid the foundation for the development of modern computers. Now that second generation computers are gone, people thought that they can do more advancement with the help of technology. They can do more advancement with the help of technology. और थर्ड जनरेशन को डेवलप कर सकते हैं लेकर आ सकते हैं नेक्स्ट इज थर्ड जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर सो द थर्ड जनरेशन कवर्स द इयर्स 1964 टू 1977 हंड्रेड इन इट्स प्लेस ट्रांजिस्टर्स वर रिप्लेस्ड बाय इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट सर्किट चिप्स तो नाउ अब थर्ड जनरेशन में हमने वो जो ट्रांजिस्टर्स हम यूज करते थे पहले वो सब हटा दिया है नाउ वी आर यूजिंग द आईसी चिप्स Transistors, registers, and capacitors—they can all be found in large quantities on a single integrated circuit chip. So, see, what happened with advancement? What happened with advancement? With advancement, only one device in our system came. Transistors came, registers came, and capacitors came. So, where there were three things being used, there was only one thing in which it was made of these three things. So IBM 360 and VAX 750. These are the two examples of third-generation computers. Now let's quickly talk about fourth generation of computer. The fourth generation spans the year 1978 through 1990. So the fourth generation computers used were they were 1978 to 1990. Tak used were they? VLSI was used in the fourth generation. VLSI. In its full definition, is an extremely large-scale integration. VLSI refers to an integrated circuit chip with more than 1,000 embedded components, and this generation produced personal computers. Now, this is the time when the personal computers came into place, and yes, the time was fourth generation of computer. Apple and IBM they both offer fourth generation products as examples. Now let's move to the fifth generation of computer. The fifth generation spans the year 1991 to present. So even today, whatever devices we are using, like laptops, tablets, they all come under the fifth generation of computer. Uncertain ULSI chips they were introduced through the fifth generation, where ULSI stands for Ultra Large Scale Integration. And yes, this is the full name for this particular technology that has been used even uh, today in the form of laptops, tablets, uh, smartphones, etc., etc. So new technologies are introduced in the fifth generation, such as machine learning and artificial intelligence. So at this time, me, which we have these AI tools or AI, Chat GPT, UCAM, etc., etc., which we are seeing, robotics especially. वो सब कुछ भी फिफ्थ जनरेशन का ही पार्ट है तो गाइज अब हम बात करते हैं कुछ एब्रीविएशन की जो कि जैसे मैंने आपको बताया आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू हेल्प यू गाइज इन योर प्रिपरेशन और प्लीज इन्हें अच्छे से याद कर लीजिएगा क्योंकि देर आर चांसेस दैट यू माइट सी देम इन योर एग्जामिनेशन पेपर क्योंकि जैसे कि हमने एस एस के पहले भी पेपर में देखा है कंप्यूटर रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन में इस तरह के जो एब्रीविएशन होते हैं या फिर एम सी के फॉर्म में भी इनको पूछा जाता है देन प्लीज Try to learn them and memorize them for sure. So, first, we talk about the computer. The computer's full form is a common operating machine, purposely used for technological and educational research. Second, it's ROM. ROM stands for Read Only Memory. Agla aata hai CPU. CPU's full form is a central processing unit. Next, we talk about URL, where URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Next, we talk about USB. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. Next is virus. Virus uh, stands for Vital Information Resource under Siege. Next, we have is TCP. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. Next, if we talk about, uh, we have UPS. UPS stands for 
uninterruptible power supply. Next, we have SATA, uh, or you can say SATA, that stands for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. Next, we have RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. Next, we have SMPS. SMPS stands for Switched Mode Power Supply. Next, we have CD. CD stands for Compact Disc. अगला हम बात करते हैं DVD का DVD the full form is a digital versatile disc next is CRT that stands for cathode ray tube next is DEC that stands for digital equipment corporation next is SAP that stands for system application and products next we have PNG that stands for portable network graphics next we have is IP that stands for internet protocol next is gis that stands for geographical information system next we have dds that stands for digital data storage next we have a scad that stands for computer aided design next we have is acpi that stands for advanced configuration and power interface Next on the list, we have AGP, that stands for Accelerated Graphics Port. Next in line, we have APM, that stands for Advanced Power Management. Next we have is APIPA, that stands for Automatic Private Internet Protocol Addressing. Next we have HTTP, that stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Next, we have HTTPS that stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. So, guys, now we talk about computer memory related abbreviations. Ki, jis mein pehla aata hai KB, which is called kilobyte, and this is the smallest storage unit. Next, we have a MB that stands for megabyte. Likewise, GB, gigabyte, TB, terabyte, TB, pentabyte, EB exabyte and zb or you can say zb that is zettabyte so guys aapko lag raha hoga that yes ye to itna easy hai and so and so but no when you do not know the meaning and you not, do not know the expansion of these abbreviations it becomes a bit of you know difficult and confusing for you to understand because there are at times you'll see the similar uh, you know similar seeing uh, acronyms but the message but the expansion is different so yes, uh, it is very much important for you to have a learning of these uh, expansion along with the terminologies and the short forms and the full forms. Next, we talk about computer courses related abbreviations. This uh, is the ADCA that stands for Advanced Diploma in Computer Application. Second, it's BCA that stands for Bachelor of, of Computer Application. Third is COPA, that stands for Computer Operator Come Programming Assistant. Fourth is CSE, which we talk about Computer Science Engineering. Ki. Next is DCA, and the expansion is Diploma in Computer Application. Next we have DCE, that stands for Diploma in Computer Engineering. Next is IT, that is Information Technology. Next we have Computer Networking Related Abbreviations. As uh, we talked about the generations, so here come the generations for uh, short forms. So if you do not know what 2G is, it's a second generation. 3G is third generation. 4G, fourth generation. 5G, fifth generation. Next, we have CDMA, that is Code Division Multiple Access. Next is DNS, that is Domain Name System. Next is GPRS, that is General Packet Radio Service. So guys, you are seeing that as easy as it looks, but if we don't know what it means, then it becomes become all the more very difficult. Because in today's time, there are many of the people who, uh, obviously, we do use like 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G in today's uh, advancement technologies uh, world. But there are ample of people who do not know the full form. Like they do not know that this particular G stands for generation. They do know that, yes, uh, what kind of... Uh, 
technology they are using in their microphones or uh, cell phones, they say that, yes, I'm using 5G. But if you ask them that what is G in that 5G, I am 100% sure that most of the people are not being able to tell that, yes, it stands for generation. Because what happens? If uh, hum sirf upar upar ki, uh, rakhte hain, kabhi -kabhi hum uske analysis nahi karte hain ki haan, iska matlab ye bhi ho sakta hai. We are like, we know the term, right? That's okay. But no, at times, the requirement is to deep down know the uh, particular and the perfect meaning also. Because if you know what it means, and if you have an examination, then you will get a lot of help from it. So guys, uh, next in line, we have uh, GSM in the list. That stands for Global System for Mobile Communication. Next is HTML. That stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Next is IP, that stands for Internet Protocol. ISP, that stands for Internet Service Provider. SIM, that stands for Subscriber Identity Module. Next, we have URL, that stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Next, we have VPS, that stands for Virtual Private Server. Next in line, we have WAN, that stands for Wide Area Network. Next, we have Wi-Fi, that stands for Wireless Fidelity. Next is WLAN, WLAN, that stands for Wireless Local Area Network. And at last, we have WWW, which is commonly used. And yes, you must know the meaning and the expansion is World Wide Web. So now, guys, we are going to use some of the frequently used full forms uh, related to digital marketing. The very first is SEO. Uh, most of the YouTubers must be already about, uh, aware about it as SEO stands for search engine optimization and PPC stands for pay per click. Next is CTR that stands for click through rate. Next is a CPC that stands for cost per click. At number four, we have CPA, that stands for cost per action. Next is CPM, that stands for cost per uh, mile, or you can say, yeah, it's, it's cost per mile. Next, we have CPL, that stands for cost per lead. Next is ROI, that stands for return on investment. Next is KPI, that stands for key performance indicator. Next, we have number eight, conversion rate optimization, that is CRO. Next, we have CTR, that stands for click-through rate. Next, we have API, that is application programming interface. Next, we have SERP, that stands for search engine results page. Next in line, we have SEM, that stands for search engine marketing. Next, we have SMM, that is a social media marketing. And at last in the list, we have ORM, that stands for Online Reputation Management. So guys, these were the commonly used abbreviations that we do, you know, frequently use them if we are like uh, working related to the digital marketing, if we are in the field of digital marketing. And yes, if we are associated with YouTube, Google or any other social platform, then yes, we do go through these uh, abbreviations, these terminologies on a daily basis. So yes, along with knowing the short forms, you should also know the full forms in order to know the complete meaning of it. Okay, guys, so that's it for today for this particular video on computer and uh, its related abbreviations, uh, where we tried to make you understand some of the most common abbreviations related to computers that can help you have the better comprehended the technology and enhance your digital literacy. We have discussed several popular acronyms such as CPU, RAM, ROM, GPU, HDD, and SDD, which are very simple, but if you don't know what it means, then it becomes all the more difficult and tedious for us to know the meaning. So yes, these acronyms might uh, seem intimidating at first, but they are an essential part of the computer's functioning. And uh, if you know what they mean, they can help you make informed decisions about your digital devices also.
so that's it thank you so much for watching and uh, we hope you learned something new today we made you learn something new today with the help of our video so yes thank you so much for watching if you guys liked the video and if you guys found it informative and useful then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel info island and also guys hit the bell icon given next to the subscribe button so as whenever we come up with a new video you guys are notified about it and you never miss any of the update from us that's it thank you so much all the very best for all the candidates and yes uh, guys one more thing humne jo aaj ke hamare is video mein cover kara hai that were the very basic abbreviations and the very basic full forms and acronyms related to computer now in the next segment what are you going to look uh, is uh, the kind of uh, multiple choice questions you know some of the abbreviations and computer related questions that do come in your examination uh the multiple choice questions so we will definitely share them in the form of uh, the same for have that help for you guys so yes stay tuned and stick with us for making your preparation your daily preparation a bit easier and uh, up to the mark thank you so much and all the very best to all the candidates